Okay, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at cleaning glass. So as a professional detailer, I know that leaving smears on glass at the end of a detail can be the absolute ruination of you, at least for that detail. So it's important that we get completely smear free glass. You can work really hard on a detail and it can be the glass that can let you down. And sometimes you don't even notice it. It's only when the sunlight hits the windscreen or the side windows at a certain angle and you can see those smears. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I clean glass to get not only a professional finish, but also in the quickest possible time, because obviously we're a commercial business. As with all the other videos, I'll stop saying this at some point, but this is just my way of doing things. It's not the be all and end all. If you've got a different way to clean glass and you get it perfect every time, fantastic. In fact, please mention it below the video uh, in the comments, because I'd really like to know. I'm always keen to learn as well. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the equipment and then I'll show you the techniques I use for cleaning the glass. Right, so on 90% of the jobs that I do, I only use warm water to clean the glass. That's all I use. There are 10% which I uh, use a chemical and that is all the time that is on the inside. Those 10% of jobs is where I get on the inside of the car and this is going to sound disgusting, but I can see almost like a splatter pattern. And that to me indicates that there is uh, body fluids on the windscreen where someone has sneezed and you'll normally find that on the um, steering wheel as well. In those sort of cases, I'm not prepared to go in just with warm water, so I do use a chemical. Now I've gone from one chemical to the next, uh, one sort of window cleaning chemical to the next. The one I use at the moment is invisible glass. Now I'm not pushing this brand, but it does give me a, a smear free finish when I've got those cases where I need to get more than just dirt off the uh, windscreen and the side windows. But there are plenty of other really good products out there. So 90% of the time, it's warm water that I use just in a bucket. And I normally carry a 25 litre drum of warm water with me or hot water with me when I go out detailing. I'm an appointment only business. So at the very most, I'll probably uh, wash three or four cars in the day. And that warm water will certainly cover that. If you're the type of business that goes out to industrial estates or office complexes, and maybe do 15 or 20 cars in a day, it's going to be really difficult for you to take hot water with you unless you just use that for cleaning the windows. So 90% of the time, warm water. 10% of the time, I use a chemical because obviously of what I've mentioned. Now the cloth that I use to clean the, win the windscreen and the side windows with uh, the warm water is a perforated synthetic chamois cloth. I, this is the brand I use, but obviously there are plenty of brands out there. So this is from uh, Kent Car Care. Just find these really, really effective, especially with the uh, warm water method. The most important thing though, is not cleaning the windscreen or the side glass or the rear glass. It's polishing that glass to a smear free finish once you've done that process. And for that, there is only one cloth that I have used for a number of years now, and it's this one. I've just finished a uh, detail on a car, so this is dirty, so this is going into the wash. But this is an, it's called an Unger, U-N-G-E-R, Ergotech Ninja. And it's a micro wipe cloth absolutely sensational for polishing uh, glass it is specifically designed for that use it's a professional window cleaners product now this one is the 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter which i find the uh, the best size and you've got these sort of rough corners now these are designed fingers in there if you've got debris on the uh, glass that is really difficult to get out then that is what this is for. Give it a quick rub. It's got an abrasive surface, but it's perfectly okay for glass. If nothing else, if you don't take anything else from this video, then the Unger Ergotech Ninja Micro Wipe Cloth is a thing you desperately need to get your hands on. 
So the other thing I use from the Unger range is the is their rub out. So this is used for hard water spots or any contamination on the glass that is really difficult to get out. That is an amazing product as well. So what you've seen it is almost everything that I use for glass. There is one other product though. So the last product that, that I use as part of my uh, glass cleaning setup is a windscreen uh, sun visor. So these things that are on piano wire, uh, reflective material to go on the uh, windscreen. So this is actually a, du a double one. So this will cover every size of windscreen I do, even, even as, as uh, large as vans. The reason I use one of these is when it gets really hot, I normally do the interior first. This will go straight onto the windscreen, underneath the uh, windscreen wipers to cool that windscreen down as much as possible before I even attempt to, to uh, clean it. A very hot windscreen can be really difficult to get uh, a smear free finish on that. So definitely something I would advise for you to keep. These fold up really small, just put them in a compartment. But when you need them, they're absolutely fantastic. I also use these for interiors as well. Where you've got some low sun or you've got a really sunny day and you're finding it difficult inside the car to see what you've done in detail, put this over the windscreen. It darkens the interior, makes it a lot easier to detail as well. So if you have a look at the windscreen on the van, obviously we're on the inside. So we've got our perforated synthetic chamois cloth. Damp, not too wet. If I squeeze this, we would get uh, some water dropping onto the dashboard. So that's the type of sort of saturation you need. Another important thing is obviously not missing anything, but being able to work effectively on a windscreen. I find it quite difficult to use the palm of, of my hand to uh, get the cloth everywhere. So what I normally do is in difficult areas, around this area it's not too bad, so we can use the warm water to clean this, but when we get down towards the bottom of the windscreen, find it a little bit difficult. So what I tend to do is take the cloth, fold it into a square, and then these two corners, I'll lay it flat on the back of my hand, in almost like a, a diamond shape. Take one of these corners and grip it with my thumb. Take the other corner under, grip that with my thumb. And then it's actually the back of my hand, which I then use to clean the bottom of the windscreen. And that way I can effectively get everywhere in the windscreen and I'm not sort of like contorted up trying to uh, use the palm of my hand. So that's another tip. So we clean the windscreen. On a dirty windscreen it would normally take two passes with the warm water and we would rinse the synthetic cloth out and then obviously go over with the second pass. Once we've done that we then take our Unger Ninja cloth. Same process again for the bottom. So into a diamond shape, fold in those corners so I can get right down. And this, what makes this cloth so special as far as I'm concerned is it polishes the glass. I can't see anywhere where you would use a dense microfiber cloth and it be successful on glass. You do get some very fine weave microfiber cloths but this uh, this particular cloth which again is designed for professional window cleaners and uh, glazing fitters is sensational. Never ever have a problem with it. Right, I'm not sure how this is going to work with the filming, but this is the uh, sun visor that's on the windscreen now. If it was a really, really hot day, obviously I'd fasten this down properly, but I would leave the windscreen for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. That will significantly reduce the heat from the windscreen before we even tackle cleaning it. And again, as I said before, 
this also helps me anyway where the vehicle is directly in the sunlight I'm doing an internal detail and I'm finding it difficult to see the actual uh, detail of the the cleaning and how effective it is because obviously the Sun creates a lot of problems with regard to what you can see inside the vehicle so if you've got one of these in the garage somewhere that you've not used in a couple two or three years then get it out put it in your detailing van because they are absolutely invaluable so cleaning the outside of the glass no different to the inside the same uh, with how damp you need the um, synthetic cloth so if I squeeze it I'll get water out of it so it's not too dry all over the glass really important in the edges and another thing which I didn't mention on the inside because we we're doing the windscreen but what I'd also do is I'd bring the uh, window down any windows that can uh, come down bring them down do the top edge send it back up again So we clean that with our warm water. Over to our polishing cloth. And I normally start at the top and just work my way down. And then again, make sure that you get into those edges. So I haven't done the inside of this glass yet, but on the outside, nicely polished completely smear free right, so there you go cleaning glass it is relatively straightforward um, i don't have any issues with it at all i used to using all sorts of different products spending a small fortune as well on some of the chemicals but this method that i've shown you today works 100 percent of the time for me again some little bit of quirky uh, products the sun visor definitely works especially to cool that windscreen down cools the interior of the car down as well on a really hot day but also it stops all that sunlight from coming into the car when you're doing an internal detail and you're finding it difficult to see where you are where which areas that you might have missed that certainly does help please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button thank you very much for watching